All right, it's Royce Unchained here, presented by in, um, Josh Arnold, Mr. Money Talk, investment consultant. And we'll get to whatever you want to get to here, Pat, in the next 20 minutes or so. But I was on a Talking Twins podcast with Liam, a YouTube Twins okay. channel. And I think it's posted today. And we were talking about the season. And, and he asked, who is a player, a young player that you think has a chance that no one's really talking about? And you spent a few weeks down in Fort Myers. Um, I, so one of the guys I said was Matt Cantorino at some point. He's not. He's obviously starting at AAA. He's well, he Matt also, Cantorino. Now, guess what? He got hurt again. He's hurt. He's got what's a, his hurt? He's what's his injury now? Something in his shoulder. Oh. Not a. Not a. It's, it's a pull. <laughs> it's not a like a surgical thing. But there's some. I talked to the guy. He's great. He never gives up. He's a great guy. He never gives up any hits when he plays and, you know, when he pitches. But he's pitched 85 innings since getting drafted in 2018, I believe. And uh, there's some suspicion, or 2019, but there's some suspicion that uh, he can always find an injury. And I kind of talked to him about that when I talked to him. I said, you know, you got to stay – you know, you got to prove to them you can stay healthy because he he just basically went two years without pitching because of Tommy John. You know? Yeah, yeah. He, he took all last year and he followed Paddock around for like a year down there. He's lived in the he's lived in Fort Myers, basically rehabbing constantly. But you're right. If he can get healthy, he's a much higher up prospect than Festa. And Simeon Woods, Richardson, and these guys, but he can't. You know, he's once again he had just some kind of a pull in his shoulder. Shoulder strain. Shoulder strain, whatever mm -hmm. the hell that is. So maybe he winds up know. being a. I don't know if he's going to have 150 to 170 innings of future no. load on his arm, but maybe he winds up being a bullpen guy. I mean, he's yeah, just I he has, he strikes right. out 14 batters per nine innings yeah. in his minor league career so far. I think yeah. going into this spring, they once again had hope for him as a starter. But I got a hunch, getting shut down again, they're going to start looking at him as a reliever probably because, uh, you know, that's because he's got that kind of stuff. And I don't think he takes an extra long time to warm up or anything. He's just, he's a, you know, just a, you know, a big personality. He talks all the time. I, I, I go back to that. Uh, batting practice thing. I saw him in 2020 or whatever it was. They had him and Winder pitching to all the regulars who didn't make this trip. And every pitch he threw was a conversation afterwards, asking for feedback and stuff yeah. like that. That's the kind of personality he is. But damn, I tell you what, they've had a bad spring for healthy pitching, haven't they? Yeah. Wow. Although yeah. the, the, the disc of Beanie thing has been yeah, don't worry about it anymore. It's been crap not from gonna, the not start. Gonna pitch it. it was crap from the start. It was he's I see where twins should not sign pitchers with an injury history. Well, you're right about that, but they got they had to take him. What it tells us is there wasn't much of a market for Jorge Polanco, was there? Well, they also, yeah, they wanted Gabriel Gonzalez, right, yeah. the prospect, and yeah. they wanted the Justin Topa, the reliever. Those are the yeah. two main things, and the Mariners are like, oh, what? this feels you a little to, imbalanced still, so can you take you, on some of this guy's to, contract? You need to take up $4 million here on this guy, so that's that's what they did, basically the difference. And that, But as we've talked about, the Giants made Seattle take him to take Robbie Ray, so... You know, but this idea that, ooh, he was counted on as a fifth starter, crapola. I, I, I reported this one to uh, to uh, you two guys yesterday, or two days ago, though, uh, that uh, Louie gave up uh, nine hits, eight runs, and in, uh, in four innings, and, and Morney was assuring us it was a good thing because you have to struggle a little bit in spring training. So. Get it out of your system, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hope Provis. I hope Provis put a stop to that crap. Yeah. He's, he's our he, only hope. He did. He did. Don't brainwash <laughs> Corey. Don't do it. Yeah. Well, he he actually kind of raised the topic at first, but then he didn't keep babbling on it. Uh, but uh, it's why uh, can't it be that I don't know. he Boy, struggled, <laughs> and yes. it's not the best thing. No. And hopefully he fixes the things that like, why does it, why does it have to be this grand spin into something? How about saying, wow, 
Yesterday, they declared him as the fifth starter, and today he gave up nine hits and eight runs. Uh, and then get on with your life. Baseball. You don't have to make, right. we don't have to make, <laughs> we don't need to lie about it. Yeah. <laughs> Although Tony, the pony, we, 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 this is distracted, but Tony, the pony hit a new standard for kissing up, uh, that on Twitter that Judd saw it. I saw it before Judd sent it to me before I sent it to him, but the six and all the six old victory, the Lost. win was, it was a my loss was much closer than that, and uh, they were. He didn't even call the game. He was at home tweeting his steak fillet. Yeah. He didn't even call the game. The most no. glorious thing was the last two games were national games, so we didn't have to listen to that crap. But then he felt necessary to get on Twitter, yeah, come out and make an excuse for them long distance. I said it's one thing when you're on the broadcast to blow smoke. <laughs> You know, because they to keep your job, you got to blow smoke with the wild. But you don't have to do it long distance when they get their ass kicked six to nothing. For God's sakes, what the hell is? If you're two on? time zones away, it's late at night. You just you know what? Enjoy they the got way. beat. Yeah, they got beat. Okay. Yeah. This Enjoy those my, great potatoes. I am. Great. I have gotten. I really let myself get worked up about stuff that should not because. The fact that I was at the women's basketball thing and then the men's basketball thing, and every question comes with an answer that, you know, don't answer your question, have them answer your question, but you give them the, they give them the 30 second, you know, explanation. did this and is, are we right? This is, uh, you know, you, you got this great team and everything. I mean, Coach, you, suffer, Coach you suffered a devastating loss last night, but yeah. here's a bunch of reasons why that yeah, probably yeah. was the case, right? Yes, 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 that's true. I don't know. We don't, that ah, drives me crazy. Anyway. So uh, hey, actually, speaking of explaining away losses, I know that for a long time, Duke and Mike Krzyzewski were your, you, you know, you would, you would yeah, hate yeah. watch college basketball yeah, games. Yeah. I am there with John Calipari now. I'm so happy that that team lost again last night. Yes. And he's asked about it. You know, hey, John, you know, a tough loss to another double-digit <laughs> seeded team. And he is a master at throwing 19-year-old oh, yeah. kids that he recruits. He, yes, he right. brings in 19-year-old kids yes. saying, we're going to change your family's lives. You're going to be an NBA player after one year. And then he throws them under the bus for being yes, inexperienced does, against an older Oakland, Michigan team. Because they're professionals. You know, <laughs> he's got professionals. But I got a, my original, I went out, I think we must have been getting a Final Four or something, because I went out and was doing this stuff around the country. And I spent two and a half days at UMass, right? When yeah. he was young and good looking and BS and. And he had a reporting crew. I, okay, I'm going to be sexist about this, but they were all women. You know, they were all, you know, young women that were his reporters. One from Boston, one from Hartford, and one from out there. And he had them so charmed. It was unbelievable. He could get away with murder back then. And of course, they ended up. That got vacated, right? They're uh, didn't they the finish? final four. Yeah, yeah. yeah Was it Marcus four. Camby oh, team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had that. But yeah, he ran think, of, think of what a great recruiter he was to get all these guys to UMass, which has yeah. never had a team worth a damn. He was great. But I was. I'm glad you brought that up because I saw two things yesterday that made me realize again the 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 evil side of nil. Kentucky, they don't. Those players don't give a damn. They think they're they're not going to play defense. They're getting underpaid. They want more money. And Kansas, disgusting performance. They end up winning Stanford, but they don't give a diddly damn of what self's telling them in the in the huddle. And they got they got they have no emotion. They're all mad because they aren't getting more money. You can see that they figure Kansas. I'm going to Kansas. I should get paid more than I am. I mean, it's a, yeah. they do not give a damn. They 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 couldn't care less. Sanford. I mean, it's one thing to lose uh, to uh, 
Uh, Oakland, by the way, that, isn't that the coach that's been there 40 years? The guy yes. at Oakland? Yeah. yeah. 85, I think, or something yeah, it, like that. It, it that's not won. Oakland, California, though, right? It's no, Oakland. No, it's, Oakland it's, Hills. it's suburb Oakland of, Hills. Uh, suburb nice of, uh, suburb of, Their star uh, player, though, is the greatest story of all. He looks like he's 36. <laughs> He looks like he was taken out of the '90s. Like everything about him screams. Have you heard his backstory? So he, yeah. so he was a Division That's II right. player for four years, and and he was a good Division II player. And he decides I'm going to enter the transfer portal and play because there's 400 Division One schools sure, out right. there, right? Yeah, right. One team showed interest in the transfer portal, and it was Oakland. Oakland, right? And he <laughs> winds up shooting like. 50% from three this season. He hits. Oh, was, was that he, the guy that made the 10 threes? Yeah, he was. Yes. He, took, he was yeah. 10 for 20, all <laughs> three point shots. He, he took four twos <laughs> all season long. Yeah, yeah really? Four he, two yeah. point shots. Four. Well, that tells you how disinterested Kentucky is. After he's made about six, isn't somebody going to guard him for God's sake? Chase well, he was, around. in fairness, he was coming off screens and like his body was twisted sideways he and he's like he cash- be smoking a cigarette and shooting though. Yeah, the but they should, you know, somebody should pick him up and get in his face. You got these, you know, they got these five star guys making 300,000. Can't anybody put an arm in front of them for God's sakes? You know, they don't care. It's funny. They, I saw a great tweet about that kid, the, the, the division two kid we're talking about. I'm paraphrasing, and I don't remember who tweeted it, so I'm stealing it from them. But the reason you love March Madness is because every year, someone who's going to be your accountant in five yeah, years lights right. it up and becomes a hero. Yeah. Oh, the first round is more fun than the rest of it because all oh, yeah. those, those teams always get beat in the second round, and uh, you know yeah. there's there's three or four of them. But uh, you know Kansas could have went down to this Sanford team easier than hell, and they wouldn't have cared. It was now they've had a lot of injuries and stuff, but uh, I I never saw a team with less. I watched most of that second half, and they had no emotion whatsoever. They did not care. Some of the checks must have bounced or something because, you know, <laughs> self was, you know, self's amazing, though, that he survived. They basically had all the evidence in the world on them when they, you know, they sacrificed one or two of their assistants, right, on the yeah. FBI investigation. Those guys beat the FBI, though. That's the incredible yeah, yeah. incredible thing. How do you beat it, the FBI? I don't know. I don't know. The, the, well, the guy at uh, Arizona... Uh, the Miller, 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 Miller to, yeah, they, Miller. yeah, they got, you know, they got him on tape saying, "What's it going to cost me? A hundred thousand, you know?" And joking about it, and but now that's not a violation, right? So, bring back Clem. I keep yeah. saying it. Yeah, yeah. Poor well, Clem. Clem. Bring Clem back Clem. Give the this. job back. Yeah, well, Clem would hate this though, because he, I don't think he, Clem. Clem was kind of like Fleck. He was always looking for his own raise. You know, he wasn't worried about yeah. the players. So, yeah. I don't know. On hey, Kansas, did- real quick, the last time Kansas didn't go to the NCAA tournament was 1983. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Larry insane. Brown. Uh, I was there when uh, Larry Brown won the national title and beat Oklahoma. Danny Manning. And Danny Dad Manning. Was on the coaching staff. He mysteriously got yeah. a job. Yep, Danny and the uh, Four Reasons were, uh, you know, they, it was a mediocre team, but I was there. But there were rumors, Larry Brown, that day of the championship game was on the phone with UCLA seeing if he wanted to go back or not. He could, he could not stay anywhere, you know. He was amazing. But, uh, yeah, that was a that was a great Oklahoma team, but that Billy Tubbs couldn't coach he couldn't coach at all, but Stacy King and that crew, that was, a, oh, yeah. that, was, that was, you know, a big eight title game, basically. So. so, Pat, the the Vikings today just sent out a release. The 2024 coaching staff, mm-hmm. entire coaching staff has been set. Um, care to so, guess. Um, care to guess at a number. <laughs> well, last year we had total 22, coaches. but last year we had 22, but we added three, I saw, on offense. So, I'd say 26. Oh, it's so Higher. good. 27. 27. We're up okay. to 27 now. Some Bud. of the titles are hilarious. Yeah, so we have are. a passing game coordinator, a game management coordinator, a, another passing game coordinator. And these are not like, no. these are separate than the offensive coordinator and the <laughs> yes. quarterback's coach. We've got multiple positional assistants, assistant to the receivers, assistant, assistant to the offensive to the line. Manager. Yeah. yeah. What do we have? Uh, 
now we had a we got the we got O'Connell coaching the quarterbacks, and then we got a quarterback coach. But we also last year had an assistant quarterback coach. We, we still got do. more. We got more help with the quarterbacks, or yes. uh, not? Did we get? Yes. Did we get another? Did we add one in this uh, in this thing? Uh, the uh, I, I love the titles about. Uh, you know, baseball's doing it too, though, with the guy like uh, Run, Run Production Specialist. This, I thought that was the hitting coach. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that should be that should be Aaron Judge. Actually, he's the yes, Run Production right. Specialist. <laughs> yes, yes, that's true. So I was reading up more today on this Otani thing. It's, I mean, somebody's lying. <laughs> Yeah, you think yeah. so? <laughs> <laughs> you you cannot. Uh, I, baseball, I don't think, you know, I heard, Man, I was actually just writing this. I heard Manfred, I got up and watched the game on the first one, and Manfred was very low-key. And, you know, you, for a year now, he's been taking bows about the speed-up rules and everything and how, how he invigorated the game. And he looked... He sounded very low key, like he was drugged or something. He knew what was coming, baby. <laughs> the next day, oh, yeah. he, did, he didn't want to get too far out over his skis about what a great thing is. But they well, don't. now the other controversy this week is we're seeing some of these plays come out. The the sliding into second base, you can't block yeah. any part of the base, and these normal looking plays mm-hmm. that supposedly. Are... Now Rocco talked about that still in February that it was going to have to be egregious. But I told him, I said, listen, you tell these umpires that they can call this and they can, you know, that Angel Hernandez can call this and be a hero, oh, yeah. be a star and get some attention. Once they, once they start it, they can't stop it. They can't stop it. And, you know, and they, they can't be, you can't trust the umpires right. to not, not try to make themselves the show. And, uh, have they, have they made? I haven't seen. Have they Lindor, made? Some, Lindor Lindor put his glove down in front of the base into a guy sliding to just tag him. The umpire yeah. stops the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's the interference. You can't do that. Like, like you literally what? put what his glove. What did they want him to do? I, I have mean, no there idea. Was no knee. It side. was supposed to be if you dropped a knee in front of him. Yeah. No, he didn't do that. Really, you can't block the base with your glove that's holding the ball and have him slide into <laughs> that, it. That's, that's illegal. That's going to definitely increase stolen bases <laughs> if you can't <laughs> if you can't tag them. That's going to really. <laughs> I knew they'd screw it up. I knew they'd screw it up. I knew. I told Rocco. I told him. I don't think it'll be that bad. I said. You're giving these guys way too much yeah, credit. Man. They'll, they'll, they can't wait to run a. I said Dan Bolino can't wait to run out there and make an ass out of himself. Rule you know, interpretation coordinator Patrick to... Royce. We just got you a job on the Twins. You're the rule yes. interpretation coordinator. Yes, yes, they're gonna do it though. They're gonna then they're gonna have to like a month into it say okay that this isn't working and that because when they did the blocking the plate. They had a couple guys who were like out by 25 feet and somebody had a foot in front of the bag when he was 25 feet up in the line. They called him safe, you know, because they, you know, it, it's, I hadn't realized that they'd gone nuts with it. I hadn't, I guess I haven't been following it enough, but, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm not surprised that they. So I gotta I gotta go. I can find the video of the Lindor play then. Yeah, I'll, just go on just, Twitter and type in like Lindor. So and what are they? What are they? What does baseball say after it? What are they? Saying? I don't think they've commented on it yet, but it's just. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's they just had, they had things working and uh, and wait well, wait till hey, wait till how about the great one today the hip the thing for the NFL the, hip drop, the hip drop tackle the hip drop tackle. We're not going to enforce it in, during the game, probably. Right. Right. But we're going to steal your money on Monday, okay? <laughs> That's what they're telling them. So we're going to find you for do. You're not going to get penalized. You're going to be home on Tuesday morning, and you're going to be told we want fifty thousand dollars from you. Yeah. They're thieves. The NFL is thieves. <laughs> you know, and it's what is the new? I'm. I am not going to be able to handle the new kickoff. I don't know what's going on. I do it. Is this official now? Is it official? It's it's, it's going to get passed, though. Next week, it's going to be 
So I so the defense is going to they have to stand at the fifty until the ball hits the ground. There's a yeah, there's a zone, but it, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like goal line to the 15 or 20 yard line. It's like a zone that you're aiming to kick the ball into. If it goes but, but, through but the end it's, zone, if you're it's gonna a, kick it over the end, then it's coming out to the 35. To right? 35, yep. So, so they're gonna try not to have guys kicking it in the stands, then, right? Like, and they, they but they also don't want teams like for decades running full speed down the field. So this is their way of. If everyone is lined up, and I think it's—I don't think it's the fifty. I think it's like the thirty-five Who came or thirty. Came up with this? It is. Excuse me, bull crap. <laughs> Who came up with this? This is. I thought this was the XFL. XFL. Tried something along the. It's, line, it's a modified right? version yeah. of the XFL. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God Almighty. Now I like the old XFL one from twenty-five years ago, where they put the ball at the fifty and take two guys from either end and they just run at the ball <laughs> and they wrestle for it. That's. Uh. Let's just go back to that. Or collide head on and both get yes. caught. So then both unconscious. So now, yeah. But I'm going to have to start. I'm going to have to go from a standing start, right? Then. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get killed then, right? Well, no, both the, teams are standing. Right. It's like you're both at the line of scrimmage. That's not basically. football. That's not football, you morons. That's not <laughs> football. We we have collisions in football. What what are you going to do? It's stupid. Un- you yeah, know? it might it might be a one. I don't, I need to see it, I guess, but it, yeah. it might be a one year experiment. That it's they a one year trial, flush. sure. Okay, but yeah, it but the defense is starting from the fifty. Is that right? I, I think, think it's 50. further up. Yep, I think. But then, right. but they also didn't do anything. Then I can tell them it's an onside kick, and then we go back to the old way. Is that right? You have to declare an onside kick uh, if yeah, you're going to do it. Yeah, have to declare an onside kick instead. Of, so we can't try to fool them then, huh? No, and and it's like since because the, they tweaked that rule a few years ago where you you yeah. couldn't get a running it start, it and that possible. eliminated any chance. Yes, of, right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the fourth and fifteen got submitted again by the Eagles. The that's idea. the best. That's the yeah. best one for sure. the onside kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree. I do think I agree with you. Chris Long yeah. and Phil Mackey invented that ten years ago on fifteen hundred <laughs> ESPN Radio. Give us yeah. our proper credit. Yeah, and uh, but then. So when you fail on fourth and fifteen, then we get the ball where you were then when you started. Yeah, what, what, uh, something like that. I don't know. I just play the game. You know, you play football. You're gonna get concussions. You're gonna die at fifty-eight. Let's just go with it, okay? I mean, that's a, how many lives have we saved with this? You know, they're still dying at age fifty-eight, and they can't walk at age thirty-seven. So that's it's football. And Pat, speaking of safety, you know what has great and safety features? Cars <laughs> yes. from Valley Auto Group. That's right. I was just looking it up, baby. If you want a big old truck, the Sierra GMC's trucks, and these are big, big, great trucks, 1.9% for 36 months, uh, 2.9% for 72 months. Wow. You can, you can, and these things are monstrous, and people love them. And uh, they're good looking, and they got a full stock of them out at Jim Paul and Brett Paul's Valley Group of GM dealers, Apple Valley, Hastings, got all kinds of uh, the Envision SUV. You can get a great deal on that, 0.9%. And they got the smaller SUVs also. uh, A lot of stock and uh, good prices, low interest rates right now. And uh, what the heck? Let's go here. Come on. You need a new vehicle to get through all this snow we're getting this weekend. Right. Yeah, this, the snow, we might get uh, six, eight inches this weekend. Uh, I think that might help SUV sales. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, Jim Paul, Brett Paul, Valley Group of GM dealers, Apple Valley, Hastings, my guys for over 10 years. All right, Pat, enjoy your weekend. Be careful shoveling out there. You and we'll, guys we'll... have already ruined my weekend with the... Uh, I think you got worked up with, again. With, with, with the play on second, but... I told I Rocco should listen to me. Rocco, don't tell them. Don't, give you job. Trust, don't trust these SLBs. They're gonna screw it up. They're gonna and they're gonna enjoy it. They don't get to argue with you anymore. They don't get to throw you out of the game because we got all these replay stuff. So they can be complete ass wipes. <laughs> and you know, 
uh, by making these calls. They said, because they want to argue with you and they want to throw you out of game because they're a bunch of idiots. So anyway, that's just my opinion. See ya. Come All right. On. Thanks, you, Pat. Pat. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's Roycey truly unchained here on Score North. <laughs>